When I think of the international field of Holocaust studies as a group of people, I think of Zev Weiss. I can't remember exactly when I first met Zev, but an early recollection is at the Lessons of Legacies conference in Dartmouth. I don't know what year that was, but I shared a room with Dagmar Herzog, who was pregnant with her daughter, Lucy. So all we need to do is think about how old Lucy is now. We know when that was. At that conference, I don't think I spoke with Zev, but he was everywhere. No issue was too small for him to care about, whether it was the air conditioning that was blowing too cold or the salmon that wasn't cooked to his uh, specifications, but no issue was too large and challenging. He was engaged in the questions about whether the Holocaust could be compared to other genocides, whether it was appropriate to talk about forgiveness Zev had a view on every subject and he stated it and he encountered and dealt with all of us with a personal touch. Soon I was a participant in the summer program, the Holocaust Educational Foundation and later an instructor. And there too, Zev was deeply involved and so was Alice. We had the dreaded one-on-one -on -one meetings with Zev where he grilled each of us about every aspect of our personal and professional lives. Zev was always deeply and fully engaged and invested in the present state of the field and above all in the future of the field. He was full of ideas and all of his ideas and initiatives were always linked to people. Zev influenced and recruited three, maybe four, generations of scholars of Holocaust studies. I consider myself in the second generation. My old colleague at Notre Dame, the late Bob Weggs, would be the first. Zev was especially interested in historians, in military historians, in German historians, and he made sure that all kinds of people and institutions were drawn in to the dedicated study of the Holocaust. He recruited deeply, highly motivated faculty. And if he thought we weren't highly motivated enough, you could get one of those phone calls at 1 a.m. saying, how many students are in your Holocaust class this semester? I personally often argued with Zev, and I know many other people did too. But thinking about it now, I think those arguments were part of his method, part of the way that he tirelessly, resourcefully, persistently, and lovingly built a field and assembled a community of scholars and people around Holocaust studies. Zev, I miss you. <laughs>